Infiltrator now features not one, but two customizable modulators for every effect, meaning you can have two different parameters changing how you like over time. To show you a simple example of this, I'll just choose delay for slot one, after which the delay dial can be used to choose a synced delay time of increasing length, so getting slower as the dial turns up. And it's in ping pong mode at the moment, so ultra wide, bouncing hard left and right when it repeats. So what I'll do now is turn up the modulation amount with it set to unipolar, so I can then use the envelope to create a ramp up so the delay gets longer across the envelope. I'm gonna set it to a bar long though, rather than half a bar. And I might change the curve so it stays fast for the majority and then only slows down right at the end. One thing that will add some extra excitement to this now though, would be to turn up the feedback so the delay repeats, which is gonna sound especially cool with this short delay as it adds an almost flanger type effect. It's sounding nice, but maybe a bit much. So I'd really like to change this value as well as the delay time. And fortunately I can do that now by clicking on the pop-up menu for the second modulator dial, after which I can change it from audio follower to envelope two. And you can see when I do this, I get a second envelope switch appearing above. And I'm gonna have that controlling the feedback, like I said. And then when I turn up the modulation amount, you can see we get an outer ring going around the feedback dial now so I can then use envelope two to turn that dial up and down. I think I'll make this one go the other way. So start with a high feedback and decrease. And I might actually make it a square wave. So the feedback turns on and off on consecutive beats. I like it like this, but it might be cool to have it change slightly across each bar. So what I'll do is choose repeat from the envelope menu, which has some handy options in. Then as I've got a bar now, I'm gonna make a bit of a change to the second beat. So the feedback spills over a little more into that section. And finally, it might be nice to play with the tone dial to do some frequency shaping on those delays. Maybe making them a bit darker, so cutting out some of the highs. So we've got a really nice and dark delay layer going on now. And if you wanna tweak the volume of the delay, don't forget you can use the effect, gain and mix controls below to get the balance of dry and wet sound exactly right.